Y'all wanted to see what I carry around every single day? Are you sure? Okay, because right now, <laughs> I'm about to show you what I'm packing, son. Just a good old boy And his name is Outlaw He loves to make bitches hunting, fishing, and spitting some child Wait, oh, no, dude, no, man, no, 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 no I said I'd show you what I'm freaking packing, dude And I'm packing pouches, at least I'm not packing fudge, alright, Karen, god dang Oh, what's cracking, folks, outlaw back here, another gosh dang vidya I reckon if we're doing an EDC vidya in the comments, everybody wanted to see that. Oh, let me get these out of here. I just wore these because uh, that's on the list as well. This right here, what I have in my hand is dark wintergreen pouches, which will be released in the next coming weeks. But today, we just dropped with this video, Outlaw Wintergreen and Outlaw Mint pouches. They're so freaking new that we don't even have side labels. This is still a tester can that I got last week. Oh, was a religious experience, so I had to. Mmm. Mmm. Well. <laughs> Upper deckers make your pecker bigger. <laughs> Finally, folks. It's freaking here. Go get you some. Link is in the description box. Outlaw wintergreen pouches. Outlaw mint pouches. And every single week, from starting from right now, we're gonna be releasing a brand new pouch flavor. We are releasing, we're calling them the OGs. So we got six flavors for y'all together. Two are out of the way today, mint and wintergreen. Next week, Outlaw Gold. And the gold rush is coming, folks. <laughs> what the hell, you kill that damn fly? Son of a dick. Just smells so gosh dang good in here with all these freaking dead animals. We get a lot of flies. <laughs> so yes, I quit tobacco, I quit nicotine, but I always got a can of Outlaw in my pocket. This one's dark wintergreen and dipping the crap out of this one lately. Before I switched over to Outlaw completely, I dipped Grizzly dark wintergreen. So now I'm on that Outlaw dark wintergreen. I freaking love it. The flavor lasts a lot longer. The pouches are great. And every time it hits my lips, I taste the freaking woods. Not wood, but the woods. Sometimes I taste wood. <laughs> Just kidding, man, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just kidding, right? That's a gay joke if you didn't get it. Sorry. Now there's a lot of tactical Tommies out there, okay? <coughs> Fat boy. <coughs> I'm not one of them Tommies, okay? They call me the tactical pterodactyl because I fly over freaking people's heads and they don't even see what's coming because you know why? I'm a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, this is pretty much every single day, this is what I do. I wore these already, sunglasses. I've always worn the gold Ray-Bans ever since I can remember. Ray-Bans is a brand, but I always wore aviators. Let's just say that. I didn't start wearing Ray-Bans until recently because they're very expensive. And I never buy the polarized version. If you buy the polarized version, they're gonna be like 150 bucks more. So these right here, they're like, 150 bucks, I think. No, I think they're less than that. They're like 120 bucks. They they look nice and they're great. They they keep the sun out of my eyes when I'm fishing or something like that. And I'm always usually wearing Costas. I like the Costa Reefdens. I'll just have Bro. I'll put a picture up here because I think I left them in my freaking truck. But these are my go-to sunglasses every single freaking day. I love them. I love the gold and black look. They go with a lot when you're trying to be cute and match your freaking outfits, you know. So uh, <laughs> obviously my outfit today. And you guys remember or what? Because I do. It's part of my childhood. How about we go to the watch? Now the movie Oppenheimer just came out. I just saw that. Did you guys see that? Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I thought that movie was freaking tits money. I loved it. But I kept seeing this watch over and over in the movie, a bunch of different variations, not this exact watch. Actually, I think it was in it at one point, but this is the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical, okay? They have an automatic, but this is the mechanical. This is the OG. This is the OG military watch that Hamilton released inside the US. They used to be made in the US, now they're Swiss made. It's an awesome company that I absolutely love. And this watch is one that I wear on the daily. It's a mechanical watch. It's pricing on it is 
I think right around 500 bucks, but it's Swiss movement. It's a great watch, especially for being a mechanical. It comes on this NATO strap, so I don't ever have to worry about like when I'm hunting or when I'm in, you know, like I'm always doing something that I'm getting dirty and, you know, something like that. I don't ever worry about this watch. It's a tough watch and it's, it's a watch that I love and it goes with a lot of stuff I wear just because I wear a lot of like dark colors, browns, tans, greens, stuff like that. It goes with a lot. There's some leather straps on here. This watch means a lot to me. I love it. I've always wanted this watch and I just got this watch last year and I wear it all the freaking time. It's pretty much my EDC watch. Yeah, I'm not going to be working on my truck with a freaking Rolex. Get you one of these, son. Hamilton Khaki Field, 500 bucks. It's entry level luxury. It's a great freaking watch. I love it. Since we're talking about money, we got to talk about wallets, son. Now, usually I'm rocking the Outlaw Rodeo wallet. That's what I'm rocking right here is the Outlaw Rodeo. This is the OG. And you can see it patinas over time. I actually have some over here. Let me get this stack of wallets because we carry a lot of wallets. This is what it this is what it used to look like. Obviously, different logo, different brown and stuff like that. But this is like a brand new one. Here's another one. Here's our Backwoods Badass one right here. So they patina over time, which I love. They're full leather. We got a trifold as well, a bifold. We got tons of wallets over on outlawmerch.com as well as our boots. I wear freaking outlaw boots every gosh dang day as well. I love them, man. These wallets are great. And if I'm ever rocking something other than jeans or something like that, the, re the reason I love the Rodeo wallet is because it's so easy to get in and out of your pocket. I absolutely love it. It goes with a lot. It's leather. It's comfortable. It forms to your buttocks. That's my favorite part. But if I'm rocking minimal, if I'm in shorts, like we were just in Florida a couple weeks ago, like I brought up in the last video, and it's just nice to have a small kind of compact wallet. These are very expensive. I got it for Christmas one year, but this is a Travax Contour is what it's called. This is a Travax Contour. Uh, it's titanium and leather, holds like eight cards, has a bottle opener, made in the USA. Pretty cool wallet, I dig it. It's It's gotta be pretty cool if I'm shouting it out in the same video that I'm showing off our wallets. So I love this wallet, man. I've, I've been using it for, for a long time. That's a Travax Contour. If I'm ever in a situation where I'm not wearing pants or if I'm, you know, just like I said, like a, I'm just in and out of places quickly and I'm wearing shorts and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to carry around something big and bulky, this is the go-to. You know, I love it when this dip, I just freaking swallow it and it tastes good. Gives you that burn in your lip. The wintergreens do. Anyone can swallow it and it's fine. They're not going to be choking. It's so, God, it's, dude, it's, it's lip candy. Let's go to my phone. I don't even know what this phone is, man. Let's see what I have. Let me see what, what kind of phone I have here. I have the iPhone 14 Pro. Golly, they're getting freaking up there, man. So this is the iPhone 14 Pro and I got the rock form phone case on there. A lot of people see this phone case in my videos or social media, something like that. They're like, what the heck is that big old thing? It is big. Um, it is bulky, but I love it. This is a magnet. This is a magnet. This is a stand. You can also carry it. You can also uh, uh, take it off and, and screw it on so to hold your phone a bunch of different ways. I absolutely love that. Rock form cases, super rugged. And, uh, and then, you know, if I'm ever watching movies in the middle of the night in bed, uh, I, I, um, I, I, I stand it up like that in between my legs. Sometimes I just get it so much into detail I, and I just like wish I could just shut my mouth. Now let's talk about what everybody really wants to see in the old EDC. Now I need some advice because I don't have a deep carry pocket clip right now and I need one. And I used to, I, I remember I got it from this one guy off Etsy one time and I freaking can't remember his name and I've been looking for one. So this right here, I've been carrying Spiderco for as long as I can remember. I live here in Colorado. Spiderco is made here in Golden, Colorado. Uh, I love their knives, especially because of this right here, a hole. I love holes, man. I like to stick my fingers in holes. I love it, man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> fruity, actually. You can spidey flick them so they're super freaking fun. I love it. This right here is the Spider Co. Paramilitary 2 Crew Wear with the micarta scales, 
Love this knife. This one's a new pickup probably within the past six months. Absolutely love this knife. The Paramilitary 2. So it's a little bit longer than the Para 3, which is I, which I was carrying. I carried the Para 2 for years and then went to the Para 3 for years. And then I, now I'm back to the Para 2 and I love it. I love the length of it and, and all that. But I do need a deep carry pocket clip for it. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Super fun, fidgety knife. Um, I use it for absolutely everything. And it makes it very hard for me to ever go back to a stud. I've had a few Benchmades. And don't get me wrong, I love Benchmade. But I just can't not do the Spidey Flick. I absolutely love it. Spyderco, one of my favorite. This is, an, this is a pretty expensive knife from what I remember. Not as expensive as my Maximate Steel Paramilitary 3 that I had, which was like 300 bucks. But uh, this will run you 200 or you know, 250, something like that for the, for the crew wear with the micarta scales. Micarta scales are awesome. They got this bronze look and they, and they patina over time. You know, some people just don't give a crap. You know what I mean? And I never used to be that way. I never, I never gave a crap. I just black knife. I didn't care about a watch. I wear a watch because I don't want to tap my phone to, to know the time. Everybody's on their freaking phone. The thing that annoys me the most is whenever I hang out with people. This is why I don't hang out with people. If you knew me personally, I don't hang out with a lot of people. You can ask my gosh dang brother right here, right? Right. Right. Dude, I can't even stand that you're here right now. But honestly, the thing that pisses me off is that ever, no matter where you're at, you always see somebody on their phone. What are you doing on your freaking phone? Oh, I'm just checking the time. Get a freaking watch. Get a watch, man. Gosh dang it, man. If I'm on my phone, it's like, oh, I'm checking the time. And then it's like, oh, I got a notification. Oh, let me check that. Oh, and then this, so, some algorithm from some app is trying to suck me into them. I don't want to get sucked into anyone except some voluptuous, my wife. That's it. That's all I was, right? Holy shit, man. I really got to freaking shut my mouth sometimes. Are you freaking recording still? All right. We went over the pair of two. Now it's time to go to my favorite knife of all time. You say outlaw, you carry two knives? Most of the time, yes. I carry it right here on my hip, son. Can you see that? Can you freaking see that, dude? Speaking of EDC, we're gonna have to go with the outlaw belts as well. And we make all different types of leather goods at outlaw merch. These belts, custom, they say outlaw on the actual belt with the conches, with the with the logos, and beautiful belts, man. We have a few over there on outlawmerch.com. You can check those out, link in the description box. <laughs> so, always rocking that belt. The thing I love about it, too, it's stiff, and it's leather. It's got some nice, like, hard conches on there. I got a kid now, right? So, dude, I know people nowadays, they're so against, oh, just talk to your kid. Oh, you gotta communicate. Dude, this is how I communicate, okay? If I tell them no 28 times and they continue to do it, communication is done, Grandma. You gonna get this on the backside. I hit myself with the buckle. Mm, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute! Fuck! This sheath is made by Carl Thomas Maker Leathers. Carl Thomas. I believe I found this on Etsy. I was actually looking for a gift for Fat Boy for his birthday. Found these, absolutely loved it. This is for a buck 110. I believe it makes it for a couple other knives too, but this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is my buck 110, which is, in my opinion, the greatest knife ever made. I absolutely love it. I've got freaking acid all over it, as you can see. Um, battery acid, okay, battery acid. <laughs> The real acid's in this pocket, but we're not going to go over that today because we're on the internet. <laughs> it's in my system, too. <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's about it, folks. That's pretty much everything I can... Oh. Oh. You guys want to hear about the pew-pew? <laughs> you guys... Dude, you guys want to hear about the pew-pew? Well, I don't have it on right now, and honestly... I've just been getting sick and tired of when I wear jeans like that. Oh, oh, by the way, dude, everybody always asks me about my jeans. These are Wrangler Cowboy Cut 936s. Okay, there you go. These are Wrangler Cowboy Cut 936s. They have an array of colors. I have one in like every color, no joke. I love these jeans. They're more of a, a slimmer profile than the 
36 MWZ, I believe is what it is. These are the, the, the 936s are the, the slimmer profile. I'm a slimmer guy, so I needed a little bit slimmer profile. Didn't want that bagginess of the, of the 36 MWZ, I believe is what it is. But anyways, with these jeans, there's not a lot of flex to them. There is different uh, Wranglers out there that you can get with some spandex in it. But Brolaw, can you grab my pistol out the chuck, please? Middle, right there in the middle console. Yeah, it's been my truck gun the past uh, couple weeks because I've been getting a little annoyed carrying it right here appendix uh so i'm gonna try to find something back here i'm gonna try, try something in the back door <laughs> you gotta try everything once right <laughs> even you guys you men <laughs> do it seriously try it one time it's good all right we're talking about truck guns we also got to talk about truck knives this is i carry this with me everywhere man the big old freaking k bar i always carry this in the truck because dude you know listen if if old karen comes to the gosh dang window and she's pissed because i'm driving a big old truck and i ain't got no freaking uh, uh uh tesla or freaking prius out there you know i gotta scare off with this thing i don't want to pull out the pistol that'd be illegal right but i've just you know I'd, I'd pull this out and if she's she gets a little scared i'm just saying i'm shaving like crocodile dundee man because this is a knife right so yeah that's what i do Obviously, U.S. Marine Corps version. Keep this in the truck. Get you a K-Bar, man. What is this, 30 bucks? Come on, dude. OG K-Bar, got to love it. And for the pistol, I'm still rocking the Glock 43X uh, custom Cerakote uh, Outlaw logo. Got the Shield Mags, the Trijicon RMR, specifically cut for this pistol. Uh, can't remember the Cerakote. What is this, Coyote Tan or something like that? Uh, the custom stippling. Uh, on there, the uh, custom cuts on the slide fluted barrel. That's it, folks. That's it. That's everything I carry um, on a daily basis. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, I'm not no tactical Tommy. But listen, man, if there's anything that I'm missing that I need to be carrying on a daily basis, you know, I didn't carry, you know, I, I, sh I have keys and I got like a little flashlight and stuff on there. But, you know, that, that's, that's about the extent of it. Extinct of it. And just, sorry, I didn't mean to get all talking about like the dinosaurs and shit the hell but at the end of the day this works for me like i said let me know in the comments below if i'm missing anything if there's anything that i that would that would make my life better if i was freaking carrying it i appreciate you guys man and remember folks outlaw wintergreen and outlaw mint pouches are available right now up on the website link is in the description box describes it man i'm freaking i'm done with it dude i talked so much today man i appreciate y'all packing some pouches not fudge keep it hillbilly or if you want to pack fudge, you can pack fudge. We should go get some fudge, actually. It sounds good. Sad it's over. Click on one of these videos.